Hi everyone, I'm uh, excited today. I'm at my friend's uh, place. This is uh, in, Kit in Kitengela. Um, she's doing a wonderful job. Hi, my name is Alexin Hasoa and our farm is called Limitless Fresh Farm. We are found in Kajado County in Kitengela and we are near Kisaju. This farm we started in 2021. I'm actually a corona farmer. It's because of uh, that time of COVID and the challenges we had that I decided to go into farming. And here we are. In this farm, we, have, uh, we plant mainly three crops. We have cabbages, as you can see. Then we have tomatoes on the other side. And uh, we have also onions. What, what drove you to farming? What really drove me to farming, as I've said, it was Corona. You know, during that time, we were so idle in the house. I stay in Kitengela. So I thought, what can I do with myself during this time? And I came, I started off with five acres of onion. I've done onion. I did it for a year. And there were a lot of challenges which came in. That's why I decided to do something else. I did, uh, that's why I went into tomatoes. But uh, we use cabbages as for crop rotation. Well, what is your crop management from start to, to finish? Tell us, take us through the cabbages and then we'll go to the other crops. All right, for cabbages, first of all, you have to put your seeds in the nursery. And I tried uh, doing my nurseries myself. I found it was a real challenge. So actually I get uh, my seeds from, my, my seedlings from propagators. Mm -hmm. And once we bring in the seeds, definitely we'll have prepared the farm. We, you, as you can see, we do our cabbages and drip irrigation. So we prepare the beds. Every bed has uh, two lines, two drip lines. And then we dig the holes. The spacing between bed and between plant to plant is 60. And also between, uh, between the rows is 60. So after preparation, we've definitely put manure on the farm. We dig our holes, put a, a planting fertilizer, Sometimes we, we, okay, we use Yara power for planting. Once you plant the cabbage, the first three weeks, you concentrate on the takeoff so that your cabbage has very good root development. So then for four years, we'll definitely use, a, we use crop boost. That is for the vegetative stage. Then we also use a wugzo. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then once we finish the vegetative stage, now we go to the head forming stage. We use NPKs. So we use multi K for we use multi K for the for the for the head forming for the head formation. But then we'll also we also use basal fertilizers. For vegetative we do a CAN and then for the head forming we'll do an NPK. Okay. Yeah. And then what is what what are the challenges for the cabbages? What are the challenges for the challenges cabbages? actually uh, cabbage is a very easy crop to, to grow no much challenge for as long as you it takes off properly mm -hmm. there's no and then you just feed you just give water so how much water do you have a borehole or how how do you manage your water because this place is very dry yes we have a borehole which is right on the other side mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and uh, with we thank god this place we never have challenges with water like even recently when it was so dry mm -hmm. and most boreholes dried up our borehole never dried up. The yield just, it, it decreased just kidogo, mm -hmm. but we've always had enough water. So I've never had challenge with water. Cabbage, there's really no much challenge because even for, for, we only spray like insecticides once in two weeks, fungicides. So what insecticides do you, what insects do you, are you having challenges with for the cabbages? For cabbages, when you are planting, we normally have challenge with the cutworms mm -hmm. and then also aphids, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, harvesting, um, do you do timings? How do you, how, what is the market like at this time? time? At this time, the market, I'm surprised, it's so super. When it rained, the, there was some flood in the market. I think people were being told people are eating terere, kunde. So the cabbages prices just dropped suddenly. But now, I'm very happy the prices have gone up again. Wow. In fact, people are really coming wanting, they're actually fighting for this, but... Nice. Yeah. And then how many cabbage heads do you do per acre? Per acre, I do average 12,000. Let, let me say 10,000. Wow. Yes, 10,000 heads per acre. And then what's your production like? The first class, first, first grade? First grade, eh? Yes. First grade, when I've done 10,000, 80% has to be first class. As you can see, 80% of my cabbages is normally first harvest. This guy's 
good. I'm telling you, I'm so I'm so excited about this farm. This lady is doing a fantastic job. Thank you. In thank fact, you. I always call her the artistic <laughs> farmer. Yes, we I'm farm. A banga shamba. <laughs> we impressive. farm with a passion, and ah, I always say, you know, whatever you do, you have to do it. You know, when you come here, you also just admire. It's not just about it's not just about farming. Yes. Enjoy the garden. Enjoy the farm. Yes. We farm. Then after that, you farm with a passion. We f I farm with a passion. Wow. True. It's, it's, it can. It, I can True. see it all over. True. If you go to the tomato where we are going to next, you can uh. see she's farming with that with a passion. Yes. Guys, thank you so much. Well, let's take you to the tomatoes.